time to celebrate the Davao Art Festival organized by the Dabawenyo Artists Federation Incorporated or DAFI, held April 21 to 26 at La Gerencia, Davao City. The six-day festival showcased 13 Davao-based visual artists groups, art-related activities, and artistic performances. We were fortunate to have been received by DAFI President Josie Tionko and several DAFI members as we enjoyed yet another art experience in Davao. Ms. Josie, congratulations. Thank you for having us here at the first ever Davao Art Festival. So, what was the inspiration behind putting this festival together? Especially at this time, no? When yes. we're just um, coming out of a pandemic. Uh, for one thing, we have a very nice venue. Uh, and yeah. uh, since the times are better, and people can come, so we decided to hold it at this time. Uh, we started the federation uh, before the pandemic. But then we could not meet. Mm. So we just met through Zoom. And luckily, we were able to form this festival after a series of exhibits yeah. by individual artists. But, and congratulations, too, for bringing 13 art groups together under this federation. And of course, this party we represented during this conversation. Um, and of course, we have Sir Vic, and then Sir Dinky, uh, Jamar, and Miss Mandy here. So, you represent different organizations. So, what what are you bringing to the table this time? We're celebrating the first art festival. So, we uh, we call tabula rasa, no? which means white table, uh, tablet. No? But, yeah. uh, we start with painting, started with blank canvas, and then we paint, no? pretty much. No? I mean, man, we are just a group of five, no? The big novelist is the latest uh, addition. Mm -hmm. ah. no? The youngest. Uh, the original the youngest, and, huh? and then Aurelio <laughs> Boypeña. Yes. No? The original I mean, was Daryl Discalia, Francis Denny, myself, and Bai Manginsai, no? Who has uh, passed on <laughs> in the studio upstairs. Yes. What we did, I think, in 2015, we started the uh, art in the malls no? and the hotels. No? We did that 2015, 16, 17. No? So, in a way, that sort of woke up uh, the art scene in Davao, I think. No? Yeah, we had a role in that. No? Uh, but you're right, no? this is the first time the art groups have formed. There no? are very the art groups here, but it didn't It took Daffy no? to, to make this happen. No? So, yeah. And how, how important is that, Jamar? Like ito, I think Jamar belongs to a different yeah. generation. Um, probably Gen Z, Gen Z kapad ba? So, ano naman, how do you see the coming together of different art groups at uh, Davao? Is this giving you some sort of uh, support or inspiration? This is a, I mean, kasi, uh, parang opportunity din na sa amin. Hmm. Lalo na sa amin, uh, bago lang kami na grupo. So, in, before pandemic pa nabuo yung grupo namin. So ito pinta na yung grupo namin. Ah, pinta na. Oh. Pero mostly ang ginagawa namin uh, to inspire other uh, young artists, mostly sa amin mga bata, bata pa rin. Uh, same kaedad ko rin, ay pa rin. So marami din kami mga professional art, uh, professional na mga uh, like teacher or mga ay, ano, members uh, ng association. Pero passionate nila talaga yung mga gumawa ng art. So ako, uh, as a graduate din ako ng ano, uh, engineering, pero part din sa akin na love ko talaga gumagawa ng art. Yun ang talent mo, pinapalabas no. mo. So yung, yung pagkakaroon ng association, nakakatulong ba yun sa inyo? Opo, opo. Lalo na sa pandemic, mm -hmm. uh, may mga ibang grupo na hindi lang dito sa Duffy or ini-invite kami na uy, may exhibit pala sila. So, hindi lang kami halos mga ano grupo na belong sa dapi na ano grupo uh -huh. at saka ano siguro dahil nakikita nila may kapatahan parami siguro sa mga kakilala niyo nakikipit niyo rin 
gusto kong sumama sa inyong organization. Marami, marami po. Okay. And then, this is also a mixed group and representation of women is kind of strong. Of course, coming from coming from the president. Pero, how, how, how do you how do you say that kind of um, parang uh, relationship between uh, men and women artists coming together? Is there an issue at all? I don't think there mm. is, mm. but I'm also a member of Vaidina, which is an all-women group. So we really uphold the idea that we should be, as women, we should be supporting each other and watching each other as artists. That is why we have annual events outside of that piece. But aside from being a part of Baikina, I'm also a part of Sanctuary Art Pavilion. And interestingly, we only have one male member who happens to be my stepfather, and the rest are all female. Now, the thrust for that group is honest to goodness mentoring. So, I have three students who have been with me for several years already. And it's all about mentoring them to find their own style, their niche in the art community. So that, that's what the two organizations is all about. And, and you are an active member of both organizations? Yes, I'm also the secretary of that. I see. And, <laughs> and you, see you know, gentlemen, I think uh, the, their gender is really the more active gender, <laughs> especially when it comes to art. But I want to go back to, yes sir? In, in the case of the Bula Rasa, we are all men. That's right, I noticed and, that. Uh, we have very high qualifications. All of us are almost senior except for Brando. <laughs> so when, you, when you add, you can see in the five photos. Yes. If you add the ages of those guys, you will 100. Yeah, it's a uh, sobra. sobra. Combined so, age is more than a century. Yes. <laughs> oh, iba naman yung categories, yes, sir. But I want to go back to Ms. Josie's point earlier that this celebration wouldn't be possible without having one venue. And of course, we have Rob to thank, uh, to thank for, di ba? Rob, what's the whole inspiration behind this? No, uh, Putting up, uh, how do you call this? Is this an art center? Uh, uh, Galleries? <laughs> uh, actually, it's more of an art and events place. Okay. Um, it happens that we came up with a branding of um, La Ferencia Davao Art Spaces because we have already specialized area like the library, the art resource center is part of the art space. We have the foyer and then occasionally the pavilion and even the garden can be considered as art spaces. Mm -hmm. But we also um, cater to social events and corporate events as well. So, the inspiration actually comes in ano, later. The original plan of the family was really just an events place. But since I was involved with the arts, I was teaching art for 20 years, um, we decided why not incorporate. And then I want to really train more on the art gallery management of our arts and design students. So I'm, later on, that's my next plan to you know go to these schools and request them if they want to have their OJT here. We will train them how to curate, how to manage a gallery, and even coming up with an exhibition not their own, but another person, so that they will know the process of the Canadian industry. Oh, that's so exciting. So, Miss Josie, I'm sure when you started painting uh, 10 years ago, 5 years ago? <laughs> 1980s. 1980s. That's how old I am. But anyway, I, I did start in an art, as an artist. I started as a gallery owner. Ah, okay. That's how I met the artist. And then, because it was not actually a gallery, I was selling uh, finishing products for for homes. Mm. And then the artist came to me and said, "Why don't you have paintings in this place? Because they're so empty." Yeah. So that's how we started. And then, then you discovered your own yes. your own passion for. And after for that, art. I got tired of selling tiles. I gave it up and wanted to uh, started painting to be an artist. Yeah. So you're the one expressing, but I'm sure you're excited with what um, Rob shared here because yes. it's actually a venue for to teach people how to stage their own galleries, right? Yes. So I think we're we're going the the full circle. Yes. No? So Rob is actually the professional. <laughs> Even also, <laughs> <laughs> everyone's, a, everyone's a professional artist here. So now my next question is really about your own definition of uh, 
love of art, no? And and my, and the other question is, we are trying our best to share, express ourselves, to show our artistry, uh, to show something, no? Is Davao ready to be recognized as a serious art destination? Uh, and number two, uh, is there such thing as a Davao art or Davao art? Whoever wants to <laughs> share his or her thoughts about it. Let's ask the teacher first. The teacher needs to read. My opinion would be in terms of the definition of Davao art, it's really Davao art. I don't think we can encapsulate it in terms of the definition of Davao art. I don't think we can encapsulate it in one sentence sure. because art is a manifestation of culture and it's continuously evolving. But at the same time, the artists are striving to, you know, develop that culture with uh, amongst us in in the art community of Davao, and it's still in its birthing stages. I think uh, we need we have a lot of room for different kinds of art, like performance art, mm. conceptual art, installation art. We have to have those to further the growth growth of our art community. So. If you're asking for a definition, that's going to be very hard to. to it, it would require a dissertation to define. Uh, probably, maybe a book. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but yeah, thanks for that. But um, about Davao being recognized as a destination, uh, with 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 prolific art or with, with excellent artists, do you see that happening now? Yes, because of Rob. <laughs> No, no. Everything boils down to rock. Actually, um, not for anything. We do have many good and internationally known artists like yeah. Ega Carion, Rod Mia. I mean, they are quietly, they're actually winning awards internationally. Um, but, you know, the city doesn't recognize. So hopefully, um, we're bringing them forward with DAPI because um, most of them are members of the DAPI group. So that's one way to also educate the people. Did you know, we have artists like this in Davao, that we are beyond also our cultural communities, we also have a more contemporary way of showcasing art. Yes. Yeah, talking about contemporary way, so, mga Gen Z, ano ba yung, ano, ano yung pananaw nyo? How do you see, how do you see art evolving from your own eyes, ha? Yung, your generation, di ba? May, pup, may papum, papuntahan ba tayo? Para sa akin, sir, o, oh, meron, sir. Meron. Para, para, sa amin kasi uh, as a young artist uh, yung kasag kadalasan mga kasama ko mga senior artist mm -hmm. so parang na-adapt din namin yung gusto ipahawiwatig nila sa amin tapos uh, sumasali kami sa mga event hindi lang dito sa ano sa Larain siya kahit sa mga mall nagkandag sila ng mga event so na-attach din kami mga asa mga young artist uh, parang sumusunod kami sa kanila Good. That's good, no? Because I think it's very good insight. This early, they're now being directed to actually finding their own passion. Unlike si Miss Josie, kailangan pa magtayo ng styling home or home <laughs> store before she can actually express herself. Di ba? Because at that time there were no galleries. There were no galleries, so, so there was a need. Now there's a there's somebody supplying you. Uh, to our heritage, gentlemen. <laughs> So, what, what, what have you achieved so far sa Tabula Rasa that you think would make uh, Davao as a, as a destination for art or as a serious art? In Tabula Rasa, we talk about the style mm -hmm. of it. basically uh, in classical, impressionistic, realistic. No? And then, uh, but then, uh, as an artist, no, you, you, you tend to, even you start out, but you go in a direction. Parang ko papunta kami sa abstraction, eh, no? mm. Because when, when I do landscapes, for example, I find myself painting clouds, or right? more in, and less less in landscape or seascape, more into clouds. No? So you, you go into that direction, I think. Uh, so you know, you're in direction ko mismo, no? So I think we're all each one of us trying to find you know, our own direction in in terms of art. Then, uh, I'm not sure we can really define whether there's a Davao art or Mindanao art, no? But certainly, if you think about Mindanao, Mindanao, people want to see the art and culture of Mindanao, they come to Davao because this is the, uh, this is the gateway to Mindanao. So, ito ang punta. In a place like this, I think it's a great, great, uh, in, in, in a way, it's a parang 
one stop destination kayo eh, for art no sana nga mapuno ng ibang ibang gallery and dark corner actually we're building an exhibition hall next oh. to another main pavilion and oh, it's now catering more onto the performance aspect of art because i think we need to have theater also exactly yeah. exactly for that one 100% and then i agree you no, know, you have to have representation of the how many arts? Seven arts. Um, no, I think eleven arts. It's more than <laughs> I think it's eleven. Basically, seven. <laughs> yeah, basically yeah, seven plus plus. So, thank you, sir. Thank you for sharing that. Because, parang, di ba? Um, you're you're sharing that. You're also showing us that you're also evolving as a kid. Yes. In, in my case, I'm the newest member of the group, and I'm very lucky they allowed me to join them. Because the experience, I belong to another group, mm. which is the Toastmasters artist. They call it PM artist, and we are all Toastmasters. Amanda here is also a Toastmaster. The beauty is that we are all hobbyists. We started as you know, just trying to hold onto the brass and put something on the canvas. Yes. When uh, when fellow Toastmasters from other regions of the country learned that there's a PM Toastmasters club here in Davao, they are all starting to create their own. So this one is going out, you know, Davos City started it and they're going to do and have their own toast, I mean, Toastmasters Club who are painters or artists. And, and most of us, well, I think all of us, all of us are hobbyists. It's uh, more like we do it, we, we assign ourselves a project once a month. But here's what happens. If you've been doing that for the past, I've been painting for the past, uh, what, 2017, that's five years. Five years, I'm the youngest I guess in the group. I just started late. And when I started, I was already 67 years old. But here's the thing. <clears throat> when you start painting and there's so many, and you, you, you like it because you can improve it, her mother's one. She's just <laughs> started about a year ago, less than a year, but she's now really, really good. So there's, there comes to a point that there's, there, you don't have any more space you know, to hang your paintings. And all of us, I guess, are PM artists are not trying to sell what we, the painting that we have done. We are not anymore keeping it for ourselves. We are not even giving it to friends anymore. <laughs> They're starting to sell. Like your mother, she's, uh, I don't know, does she knew it already? She was able to sell her painting? Mm. She knows it already. It, it's not, in, in, this, in her case, it's not about, you know, uh, it's not about the money. It's about the fact that people like what she's doing. And, and I think that's true for all of these. Hobby, I mean, paint artists, I think you start as hobbyists and eventually become professional painters. Yeah, I think that's uh, that's. I think that will lead lead me to the last question. Unfortunately, is that what would be Daffy's role moving the whole art community forward? Or how do you see Daffy being relevant even ten years from now? Or where are we going from 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 here? Actually, since we have uh, we now have a good start. We said we should not uh, stop the momentum. So even this afternoon, we were planning already what we would go do next year or the next few months. We already have a plan and activity. So we, we won't stop uh, organizing activities. And, and I believe that uh, there's no way for us. There's no way for us to grow. But, uh, yeah. Uh, and, and if you notice. Uh, Early painters started not so uh, good looking paintings, but eventually they grow and they become better painters. And that, I guess, is the dream and the, the, the what Dapi would like to do with all the members of uh, Davao Association, the Boinos Artist Federation Incorporated. We'd like all the groups to continue on what they're doing and to improve their artworks. And everybody, I guess, everybody will be happy. That's the aim of everybody, yes. yes. In addition to that, that he also wants to become the voice of the artist in the government. Yes. Because <coughs> there are a lot of issues, there are a lot of gray areas when it comes to art mm. and policies and, and paperwork and, and all that. So yes. we want to be heard as a unified team and not just separate small entities but a larger one so that they really know that hey this, we are here and we want this to happen because we feel like we're being marginalized mm. 
and as a group, I think we'll be stronger with a bigger voice. I am the treasurer of <laughs> of Daffy. So you are the indicator. And no, no, I'm the one holding their money. We love it. I can run away. I can run away with their money. But here's the thing. Uh, we know. I know personally that we could get assistance from the government uh, to help all these artists. Uh, obviously, no problem with that. But professional artists who are into painting all their lives need, you know, to buy food for the table. So that's, I guess, when we get, when, when we work hard and be able to communicate with the leaders of the government, somehow I, I believe that we could get some assistance from them. Yes. And that's what that, okay. that we would like to do. Great. Oh, kabataan, 10 years from now, ba kayo, kayo na eh, di ba? Oh, 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 kayo na leader. So, what do you think, ano, what do you think, Jamar? Saan pa tayo papunta? Nakain nyo kami. Para sa amin, siguro sa grupo namin, um, continue. Tapos, tingnan namin, uh, continue, continue lang mga event. Uh, parang, ano din, sa, as sabi ni Sir, uh, uh, makikita namin yung progress na rin. So, plano mo talaga maging, uh, maging buhay, uh, maging artist, at saka pangkabuhayan, gano'n. Oh, isa na rin yan. <laughs> isa na rin yan. Isa marami mong talent. Isa dami mong talent. Rock, so probably you'd, you'd, you'd move to a bigger place, no? Ten years from now, you need a hectare to yourself to, to house all of these galleries and things like that. Uh, um, if the space is not uh, confusing already because of the we go up, so we are going to build probably a building already. We're already studying along that line. Because the location is really good. You are yes. in the heart of the city. Yes. So it's all about just, you know, if things are not cash up, tayo tayo pataas para at least we can be able to accommodate. That is the idea for it. For, uh, because I think, uh, 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 I think one of the point of that is also sustainability of our creative economy. And that's one way to assure it also. Yeah. And also tie-ups also with different networks. So, for example, even outside Davao, we can get funding also and support, not just to exhibit art to sell, but sometimes to showcase art, art projects yeah. that are funded by people who are willing to really invest in art. Wonderful. Thank you very much for your time, for sharing your brilliant minds with us. Uh, certainly, we see where you want to go, and our prayer is that you reach your desired destination even earlier than your uh, prescribed time. So, tagang salamat and thank you, thank thank you very much, much everyone and congratulations to everyone. See, I know you're one of the most respected, if not the most respected artist in, in the city and I gathered that from everyone and they have so much respect for you and rightfully you're the president of DAFI with 13 different organizations so how are you taking care of them? Actually I have very good relationship with each group and since I'm one of the most senior artists in Davao uh, I know how to deal with artists, <laughs> so there's no problem with relationship. I I talk to them. I like a mother or a grandmother, in fact. So they listen to me, and I'm happy with my job because it's just a matter of giving all my energy to to making the organization grow. And we have so much plans for the future. So. We really want Davao to be the art destination of Mindanao. And okay. you are really doing a great job putting these groups together. Yes. And especially that we're celebrating the first ever Davao Art Festival. So congratulations once again. Thank once you. again, Miss Josie. Thank you. thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. So Rob, you know La Carencha is such a unique proposition in Abo City. So what is the concept behind it and what do you have here in your facility that really 
addresses the need of the art community in Davao? Actually, um, La Herencia Davao, as an art space, basically answers the limitation of this, our area in terms of art. Um, for the longest time, artists are very concerned with the height or the size of their work. This one, it challenges them to go big because the place is quite big. I mean, the highest point that we have is about 25 feet high. So we could now explore the arts in a different way and also explore art differently, like mobile art, not the typical way that we usually exhibit. So we could come up with work like this and we are open to it. Um, in terms of also an art space, we have an education site, which is the Art Resource Center, wherein we have different books that really discusses art, not only in visual, but also the seven other disciplines of art as well. And then, so far, uh, with your brief operations yes. in the city, uh, how is the response like? Actually, it's kind of mixed. Um, last year alone, we have a total of 40 exhibitions. And we just started May. We're just training one year next month. And yet, we have so many things to do. Um, the reception is quite mixed, depending on the artist. But we're also learning the community. That's why you could give better advice to our artists how to handle their work. And then we found out really the community wants the artist to be in the forefront, not people like me, the curator or the gallery owner talking to them, but the artist really talking to them so that they'll be able to connect to the work more um, in a more personal manner, which the most buyers really would want. Yeah, and by saying that, this becomes really a genuine art space. Yes. So thank you very much Rob for your time. Thank and you congratulations. Also. Thank you very thank much. You. <laughs>